or? Uh, I mean, I certainly wouldn't go for anything too, you know, like if you had like a neon green or something uh, or like a crazy hot yeah. pink. I mean, yeah, I mean, you want so solid pastels. Um, like okay. with a blue, I wouldn't go navy blue. I'd probably go like a, uh, a sky blue or something like that. I mean, it's also going to depend on where it's being put and what kind of light's going to hit it. Because, you know, anything like that changes tone and color. You just don't want something that's too contrasted. So you don't want white, you don't want black, right? You want something that's colorful, but doesn't draw their attention away from you. Uh, I saw one where they had a, just like a blue, just like a regular blue and it looked really nice. Uh, the, the actress was just a little bit too close to the background, but other than that, like it, at least as far as the shot goes, it was flat, it was colorful it, and it didn't, it didn't make me, you know, stop and look at the background. I was looking at her the whole time. Okay. Hey Matt, I just got one more question. Sure. Um, <laughs> so, you know, um, I'm not, I have an off-white wall, which is not what you recommend, but my skin isn't near white or anything. So I was wondering, this is not my real wall, but the wall I use is the same color though. Mm -hmm. I like the wall because with a sheet, it could be wrinkled sometimes. So with my skin, I don't have no, I'm all right with a wall like this since I'm not going to blend in with this kind of wall. Your biggest issue is just going to be how reflective the wall is with light. I mean, you know, just looking from here, you know, especially if you get like paints that are more glossy and stuff, you get a lot of bounce off the wall. Um, mm -hmm. So if you can get it where it looks pretty flat and even, I would say you, you're probably fine. Okay. Especially because, I mean, at least from here, it looks like it's, like you said, it's like an off-white, almost like a really, really, really light cream, right? Yeah, it, there's this map here too that's, that's kind of reflecty. Yeah, but um, because the way I shoot is actually upstairs, but it's the same color as this. I just want I you just, to see my skin compared to the wall. Yeah, I mean, I would just, I would just try to make sure that it looks pretty even and that you're not getting reflections of lights and hot spots on the wall. Anything that's going to draw attention away. If you can get it where it looks pretty flat, um, almost like it is a sheet or a, a backdrop behind you, that's that's what I would go for. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else? Um, the last thing I was going to say is about composition, which we didn't touch on. And I'll just kind of give you a few quick tips. Uh, what I notice more often than not are uh, people who either they leave way too much headroom. Like you're, you know, I don't know how much you guys uh, had looked at or talked about, you know, composition and stuff, but something called the rule of thirds. So if you imagine there's a grid that goes across your screen like this, two lines up, two lines down, that breaks it into three sections, horizontally and vertically, nine blocks, right? Um, you wanna try to keep your eyes on that top third line, uh, give yourself enough headroom. You don't want your head to be in the center of the screen. You shouldn't be way off to the side if you're looking straight at the camera, those kinds of things. Uh, keep those in mind when you go to frame up your shot um, if it's something where obviously you, you need to be moving around, frame it wider, but the same rule applies. So the wider out you go, you're going to get a little bit more headroom, but your eyes are staying still towards that upper third line. Um, those are probably the biggest things. I've seen people chop off the top of their head, so they're talking like this, or that their head is closer down to the bottom of the screen. Uh, you just want to try to make something that looks decent. If you're looking off to one side, so unless you're reading directly to camera, uh, it's, you can call it look space, talk room, nose room. It's called a bunch of things. So if my talker is off this way, I want to be a little bit closer to this side. And so my talk space is in front of me as opposed to I'm like glued to the edge of the shot and there's all this empty space behind me for no reason. Again, you're using the rule of thirds. You've got those two vertical lines. You put yourself on one and you want to keep that talk space in front of you. So even if I'm talking just off camera like this, I have a little bit of extra room to this side of me. Uh, those real small things, again, no one's gonna watch it and go, my God, this cinematographer is amazing. But what they're not gonna do is get distracted and go, holy crap, I'm not even paying attention to what this person's saying because the video is so bad, right? There's all these like really minor tiny things that you can do that 
you know, very subtly will help enhance, but really just not distract, which is the main goal, right? And that that is great. I never thought of the talk room thing. That's that is great right there. I uh, <laughs> so uh oh, it's Animal Farm over here. The dogs are going nuts. I think they heard the birds. Sasha, what's going on? Yeah, you got. I got the birds, and you got the uh, um. <laughs> yeah. I can send you guys some real basic documentation about composition and all these things that I've talked about too. I actually taught video stuff at the college I graduated from for, for like 10 years. So uh, video basics, like day one, I teach composition. And so I have, I have some stuff that I can send you guys that's pretty easy to follow and pretty basic. Yes, we'll take it. Send it, please. Sasha, it looks like you're talking, but I can't hear you. Um, I was thinking that maybe um, what would be great would be like some live examples of, of things, you know, like documentation is great, but I would like to see it in action. Like, for example, like addressing like some of these issues and then like showing us how to fix sure. it. And maybe we can do like, you know, like, uh, like I have the issue of, of, of say like the volume not being, um, loud enough because I'm like recording it on my iPad or something using like an app to, to have somebody else's voice or like I think it, an ongoing thing that we're all having is is doing it over the, the phone and like not being able to record on the phone like the, the phone's louder so we're using another device to have somebody on like Zoom or FaceTime and then having like all these different devices and not really knowing and addressing the, the sound like sometimes it's too tinny on one side or yeah. the volume isn't loud enough or it's um you can't hear it or the volume is too loud for the reader and then not loud enough for us you know so there's so many things i think that need to be addressed and that i think um if we could just remove these obstacles we could just focus on the acting <laughs> and i can i can do my best the obstacles will be there forever they will always right. haunt you but um, the good thing is once you kind of find what works and what doesn't work, uh, I mean, that's how you learn, right? So the next time you guys go to do a self tape, even if it's just, you know, to try out any of these things, uh, the next time that I'm on, bring those questions and bring, uh, any of those thoughts with you. And, and I'm ha happy to talk you through it. Um, this is stuff that I live and breathe every day. So, uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll be able to help you with it, but you know, a lot of it is really basic. It's just, it's just about keeping those things in mind and getting them to the point where they're second nature. So you're not stressed out about that and you can focus on what's really important, which is giving that performance that you're happy with. Um, so it, as much as I agree, seeing it in action is much yeah, better. Exactly. Uh, the next time that I'm on, bring those questions and bring, uh, and then you can focus on what's really important, which is giving that performance that you're happy with. I think you got two devices so, on. Right? As much as I agree, she's yeah. seeing it in action. Who is that? That is an awful voice. Who is that? A that was, <laughs> well, I, actually, I don't know if it's actually happening or not, but um, I, I was testing the live stuff because I, I wish I had started it from the beginning because I think it's amazing. And like, we'll, we'll have to just do this again because I feel like a lot of people would want to hear about this, you know. A lot well, of Here's what I can offer. Nothing I said was groundbreaking. Um, I can say it all again. Uh, I'm happy to, I'll definitely jump on the next call. You guys, I think you said you're going to have one early next week. I'm happy to be a part of it. Um, and I think what would make it more beneficial for everyone involved is knowing ahead of time that I'm going to be there, maybe have some questions, have some, even if, even if you're not having a specific issue, but you foresee having one down the road, uh, bring those questions. I, I can, I can help you guys. And like I said, it's about getting into that rhythm. So even if you have just a, a sheet that says, keep in mind these like five bullet pointed items, I think you'll be fine. Um, and, and I honestly think then it's gonna, it's gonna put you, separate you from the herd of, of the thousands of auditions that are being thrown out and you know the ones that have all these issues that we're talking about. Uh, so on my side, what I can do is try to make sure that you all have really kick-ass content that you're sharing with casting directors and everybody else. And also what I was thinking is that maybe everybody could um, like have like a little clip of like what they're like show, like I learned from like seeing and 
and like yeah. practical, um, you know, whatever, just like how- The like, visual learner. Right, so I want to see what's happening, you know, so like, or maybe you could, they could show us, like I could show you what my issue is and like now it's the lighting thing, but we'll, we'll talk about that another time. Um, but uh, yeah. We could, I mean, we could, we could spend four hours just talking about this. Oh, yeah. We might have to have like a whole other thing, not during class time, but I, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I mean, but, um, the, there's not enough alcohol in people's hands for us.